What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I am in Mount Dora, Florida. That kind of rhymed. It's like uh, 20, 30 minutes northwest of Orlando. But I stopped in Mount Dora today to come to the one and only Wave Asian Bistro and Sushi Bar. They have so many crazy sushi creations. I've actually been here before last January and shot a sushi burger video, which I will put above for you to watch if you would like. They also make sushi hot dogs, sushi crunch wraps, supremes. Their creativity is endless and today I'm here to shoot their mosaic sushi. It's gorgeous. Look at it. They colored the rice, they're adding egg, different kinds of fish. It's actually gorgeous. Almost too pretty to eat. Almost. And they've given me some soy sauce. So I'll just have that back here. A side of spicy mayo because I like spicy mayo. Got some wasabi. Chopsticks. Just gonna add a little bit of wasabi, or maybe a little bit of wasabi to my soy sauce. Other than the spicy mayo, I don't have any other dippers. There's no other sauces on here. We don't wanna cover up, obviously, all of the artwork going on. My parents are eating lunch at another place right now, and they're taking a walk. There's like a really pretty lake here. Apparently there's a boardwalk, a lighthouse. So a really, really cute area, and I swear to you, like both today and the last time I came, it was like a perfect day. Got like really, really lucky. It's like 65 degrees, not a cloud in the sky. Okay, so the one in the middle here is their like classic style mosaic sushi roll. And it's got tuna, salmon, and cucumber inside with white and blue colored rice. And they're all sitting on top of these shiso leaves, which are very, they're kind of minty. Very, very, very strong flavor. You can definitely eat them. I personally find them like a little medicinal, but they're gorgeous for presentation. <laughs> These are enormous. <laughs> I'm gonna be super impressed with myself. Yes, I can eat it all in my... So good. I love just rolls with fresh fish in them. So this is perfect for me. Nothing fancy about it, except the way that it looks, of course. You can really taste how fresh the fish is. This one is tuna and tamago. Tamago is a like, Japanese omelet egg. And then instead of cucumber in the corners, they've got carrot and white rice with purple colored rice.
I love Tamago. I love Tamago, like nigiri style, with like a huge brick of it on top. It's just slightly sweet, really, really tender. All right, I kind of want some spicy mayo now. I love how crunchy the carrot is. I mean, really thick piece of carrot. By the way, I forgot to tell you what this one was. Obviously, we got blue and purple rice inside. And then the fish is salmon and yellowtail. Yellowtail is one of my favorite fishes. Actually, these both of these are like my favorite. Salmon is super buttery, really rich. Hamachi has like a very slight sweetness. It's like very clean and refreshing with that little bit of sweetness. It's just so good. This one was meant to be like a Christmas themed roll. So it's got pink and green rice. I think they wanted to make it red, but it wasn't looking quite right. So we've got tuna and hamachi in this one, cucumber in the corners. It's just so pretty. <laughs> For anybody that doesn't like taking large bites like me, you're definitely going to have to make this like a two or three biter.
I think this one might be my favorite, just because it's got my two favorite fishes. The size on that one too, it's a, it was rolled a little bit smaller, which is really like the perfect size anyways for me. Some of these, these guys are especially like The tamago is so good. That would also be good, by the way, if you're not a carrot person for whatever reason. The carrots are a little bit more difficult to eat just because they're crunchier than the cucumber, but this would look awesome with cucumber too and would taste delicious. So I feel like you can kind of like create your own. I don't think that you could like ask them to make the different colored sushi rice. I mean, they have like the predetermined ones. So I feel like it might just depend on the day and what they have. But as far as what goes inside of it, I mean, you probably have like free reign over that. Pick your fish, pick your veg, as long as it can be like sliced like that so that it can be like triangular in the corners. I don't see why they couldn't do it. Maybe like daikon radish could be good. Fun, quick little story for you guys. When Shane and I first started dating, I think we had been dating for like a year, so it wasn't like when we first started, but he threw me a surprise party in Epcot. And I like, I love surprises, but once I get a whiff that there's a surprise for me, I like have to hunt it down with everything that I have, I'm like a hound dog. So we were there with my roommate at the time, Elisa, whose wedding I just went to, and Shane, obviously. And I thought it was just gonna be us and maybe like, I think we, I might've expected like one or two other people to be meeting up with us. And I was like, we need to go to Soren so we can get our fast pass so that we're not waiting two hours later. And they're like, mm, we should really go to Mexico right now. You know, I just feel like we should just start there. We'll worry about Soren later. I was like, no, we need to go to Soren now. So it was like this big argument. Finally, they get me over to Mexico where there's like 15 of my friends waiting for us. And everybody had shirts that said stumbling around the world. And like, let me tell you guys, we stumbled around the world. It was so much fun. Can you imagine like around 20 people drinking their way through Disney? <laughs> it's just, it was a disaster in the best possible way. And the line for Soren when we finally got to it ended up being like an hour and a half wait. Go figure. But we did do things like sing the Star Spangled Banner in America when we got there. It was honestly the best ever. Highly recommend. If you haven't been to Epcot or didn't know they have the World Showcase there, it's so much fun. I mean, it's, I'm sure not super authentic or anything, but actually, the fish and chips in England at Epcot is like some of the best fish and chips I swear I've ever had. It's always like so hot and crispy. Oh my gosh, it's so good.
I know it is. All right guys, I'm feeling pretty good right now. I'm also planning on having a little bite to eat with my parents later, so I don't wanna like go overboard here. Even though I really don't think that this amounted to all that much in the form of calories compared to the just amount that it looks like. Honestly, a pretty light meal, if you ask me. Nothing fried, fresh fish, fresh veg, and rice, and seaweed. Seaweed's actually really good for you too. Maybe I should just have one of these as like a palate cleanser at the end here <laughs> to cleanse my palate for what? I can't describe the flavor. It's like, it is minty. Almost like limey at the same time, like lime zest and mint. maybe licorice. It's uh, <laughs> a symphony of, of flavor, really, really is. Not my thing necessarily, it's just, again, it's a little medicinal for me, but a lot of people love them and they're gorgeous. I would love edible decorations. All right, guys, this was freaking awesome. I am so, so, so happy that I got to come and try out the mosaic sushi. If you're not already following Wave on Instagram and TikTok, they have a huge social media presence. They do a really, really, really good job. They show you a lot of like behind the scenes, the making of their sushi. They make all sorts of crazy stuff for different holidays. They're constantly coming up with new things. Highly recommend. And of course, if you're in Florida or if you're planning on traveling to the Orlando area, I highly recommend you take a little day trip to Mount Dora. It's just such a cute little town, honestly. Like you could just walk around and spend like the afternoon here, come here for lunch. Yeah. Totally worth it. All right, guys, I wanna know, what did you think about this mosaic sushi? Is it too crazy for you? I know they're massive, so you might be like, I don't know if I could fit my mouth around one of those babies. That's what she said. Comment all of your thoughts below. Of course, I would love your suggestions for what I should eat next, both cooking at home and out and about. I will be in Florida for another couple of weeks. I have some things planned. There's actually a lobster roll place in Key West that I really want to film at. I have this lasagna that just like, it's my favorite lasagna ever and I really, really, really want to show you guys that, uh, which is in Fort Lauderdale. So those, those are two things that I have planned, but I'm trying to come up with a few more ideas so that I can actually be like posting more in the next couple of weeks. Otherwise, there will be like some heavy content once I get back to Minnesota. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining today. Love you guys. You know how much I appreciate you. I am off to Orlando to have a lovely weekend with my parents. Uh, Sheen is flying in tonight, so um, yeah. I'm just really excited to be able to spend some quality time with everyone. Thanks again, guys, and I will see you guys next time.